Let's go. All right, we're a bit late. IT problems, but we're going to get it done. All right, so this is Lucas. Hello. In our segments today, we're going to work on some ball handling, some dribbling, stationary, some dribble moves, and then some shooting. Let's get into it. All eyes on Lucas. All right, mate, we're going to go some wraps this week. So we're around the legs, around the waist, around the head. You at home, you've got to do 10. Lucas, you've got to do 15. Go. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Quick. Speed it up. Quick. Quick. There you go. You got it. How many you got? Oh, all right. We'll just go 10 then. It takes a while. Let's go. We're in. You can do maybe seven if you're at home. See if you can beat Lucas. Quick hands. Quick as you can. Come on, man. One round ahead was pretty uh, short cutty there. <laughs> That's all right. Done. Now, now, pro tip. Keep your body still. Just move the ball. It's quicker than getting up and down. Oh, now he tells me. Tell me this guy. All right, no worries. Hey, going into some hand flicks now. So, hand to hand. Do 10 seconds of these. So, left hand to right hand, using the thumb and the four fingers on each hand. Flick it close. So, you can flick it further distance, Lucas. You can spread it out and you can move the ball up and down as you do it. Nine seconds. We're eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent control. Now we're going to some leg wraps. We're going to put one leg forward or one leg to the side. Try and keep your chest up rather than looking down like that. Just go around your leg. There you go. And if it's easy, speed it up. Everything we want to do, we want to speed up. And if you are making mistakes at home, that's great because you want to push yourself and get out of your comfort zone. You got 20. Go. Turn one direction, turn the other. Come on, quick. Come on. I reckon I got you covered on this. I'll practice a lot more than you, though. Not bad. So here you go. Here's a quick one. You ready? Ah. Pretty quick one. <laughs> Close. All right. Challenge now. So we did this before. You're going to go around both legs, then go around. The one that's stationary, stepping to the side. Last time we've done the stepping back, we're going to go to the side. Now, Luke's got this perfect. You've got to do 12. Go. You at home, you've got to do six. See if you can beat us. So the leg that stays stationary, that's the one we're going to wrap around. When both legs are together, we're around both. And once you've done that, we're on the other leg, going the other direction. Go. This is the chest. Look, as you got 12, we're on at home, you've got six. So the left leg's going to stand still, the right leg's going to step. So, round both, round your, round your leg, round both, and that's it, you got it, 12, excellent. Once you get in a rhythm, it becomes easy. Let me know when you got 12. Let's go, come on, quicker. Gotcha, awesome. And now we're going to some blurs. So we've done this before, we have the ball, we drop in front, let it bounce, quick hands behind, and catch. Pretty straightforward. To make it harder, you can drop the ball lower. Make it easy, drop the ball higher. So if you drop it low, you've got less reaction. One quick hand, quick hand, quick hand. Now Lucas is pushing the ball forward and backwards. Try and drop it in exactly the same spot. And have your legs a bit wider. That's really challenging. Take it a wider step with your legs. A bit wider, Lucas. There you go, go. Quick, 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 quick. That's it. Let's go 10. Go, go. One, two, one, three, four. Come on, fix it. Go. Come on, go, go, go. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Excellent. We got gotcha. you. That was more than 10. And now, same thing, but without a bounce. So, I'm going to flick the ball up just a little bit and try and flick it up just up as you can rather than forward and back. Just flick it up. Quick hands. The Lucas has got 12 from now. At home, you got seven. You got seven. Quick hands. Let's flick it directly upwards and you change your hands. You got it? Awesome, well done. And the last segment in this is our diagonal as well. So, one, yeah, and we'll do it with a bounce. Bounce the start. Yep. And again, if you want to test yourself out, Lucas, you can drop a little bit lower. And have to be a bit wide if you want. You can always add variables to make it a bit of a challenge. You always want to speed stuff up. Test yourself. How quick can you go? Yeah. 
And then we'll do 12 without the bouncer. Where you're supposed to. Oh, you've got seven. Stay with me. Really good. Excellent. Now, have, we're going to have a little break. We're going to have some fun. We're going to work on our throw and catches. Oh, actually, it's not right. This way. Throw and catch. And we're going to work on our throw down to combine it. So we're tossing the ball over the top of our head, over the top of our head and catching behind our back. And straight into the throw down, which is behind, into the ground, and it's a catch. So you make a continuous loop of the ball. You've done this before. So throw and catch, throw it down, throw and catch, throw it down. All right. We've got 12. Let's go. You're in. At home, you've got seven. Right in. So I'd stay with it. You're going good. You good? All right. Now we're going to do our figure eights. So feet nice and wide. This is one hand to the other. So you want to have your hand cut, have the ball sitting on top of your hand. Hand as wide as it can be to manipulate the basketball. And speed up, slow down, get yourself comfortable with this. So, Lucas, we'll do 10 in one direction, we'll turn wrapped, and then 10 in the other direction. Just so we get comfortable with the reverse of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Quick reverse now. There you go. Start with it. At home, you've got 15 total. Quick. Hopefully you've already done four or five. See if you can beat Lucas. <laughs> keep the ball nice and low. Keep your hands low. Try and keep your hands about as low as your ankles. And then quickly move the ball. There you got it. That's it. Done. Well done. And we're going to move on that. We're going to get that into the little wall. So it's a wrap. Now we're going to take small steps so we can get a lot of wraps in. Just going to move forward rather than taking long steps. So if your area is about four or five meters like ours, you want to take small steps laterally and quickly move the ball. See how many gorilla walks steps we can get in. We'll go forwards and then we'll go backwards. And that, this will be the end of our first session. We are a bit late, but we're back, we're good. The technology has not got us. We tried to, but we got it in the end. One more up and back, Lucas, I reckon we're good. Keep going, let's go. Come on, speed up, speed up, quick, 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 quick. That's it, you got it, backwards. Awesome. Well, let's go into some dribbling. So here's our second segment. We're just going to work on some pounds, so making sure we're pushing the ball. Firm off the ground. Just like that. Now Luke's doing a great job. You can see the ball is coming back quickly to him. Hardly any time away from his hand. Hits the ground, it's in his hand, it's a rip. Try the other side. Now that's great control. You can see shoulders in the wind, tips in the wind, stance is good. And that's what you want to do when you count the ball. But now we're going to go into our finger touch. Tiny little touch. You have the 30 to do. Go. Now 30. So I need that 15. And then when you're done, that change hands. So we've got two figure eights. We've got the high high dribble. So I need to take one or two dribbles like Lucas. So we'll go into those. It's got 15 seconds of these. Now it might take you two dribbles around each leg, or it might take you one, it's up to you. If Lucas is able to do it with one. Go. So there's our figure eights. Change direction. So you can change direction the other way. Yeah, you've got to think it's harder. There you go. So this is reverse now. You can see Luke's manipulating the ball, having his wrist bent, keeping his hand on the top and the sides. It's a great control. So that's uh, 15 or so seconds of our high figure eights. Now we're going to go low figure eights with multiple dribbles around each leg. It's similar to what we did at the beginning, where we just did low counts. So let's 
go 15 seconds of this. We're working on brake control. Maybe we'll see you hang around these legs. Hey, what the kind of do you, man? <laughs> We're good here. We'll go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's go into uh, fingertip low crossover. So we've done this one, we just go nice and low. So again, Lucas is pushing the ball more left to right than he is up and down. The ball's got to move sideways. You want to try and go as wide as your hips. As you can see Lucas is doing a great job of that. We've got six more seconds of that. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's the same thing, but one foot forward, one foot back, and this is our through drill. Go 15 of this. Again, push the ball laterally. You can see you won't have to look at the ball. If you're pushing that thing firmly, it comes straight from one hand to the other. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and change. Here we go. 15 again. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go quick alternate hand taps. So the ball's going to stay in the same position, but it's a different hand each time. So keep the ball up and down as much as you possibly can without a push. I don't see any dribble at all. Here we go. Okay, good start. That's you got it. Excellent. Stay with it. <laughs> Probably 60. All right. Now we're going to work on lacrosse, but it's actually going to be three dribbles. So, um, so again, the third dribble is lacrosse. So it's one, two, cross, one, two, cross. Keeping it nice and low. You go as low as you possibly can. We've got 10 of these. At home, you've got six. Go. One. Come on, quicker. Two. Three. Let's go. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, step throughs. So we've done this before. Feet neutral, bounce through, bounce neutral, through. Mark that up. Yeah, just like that. Here we go. So from neutral position, we're going to go through. Back to neutral, through, neutral, through, and so on. We've got 20 seconds of this. Here we go. Making sure we're changing hands. We don't want to step too far back. We're more stepping a little bit to the side, keeping our feet nice and wide. All right. So with this leg, uh, rather than, for example, we might do this. We step right back. We want to probably step to about there. We want to go to about there. So we've got a bit of balance. So we're really pushing our ball laterally. We're getting a bit of distance on it. Let's go. 15 seconds. Good. That's it. Perfect. Good stance. Distance looks great. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, V dribbles. So it's a crossover with the one hand. So here it is. Push the ball from hip to hip. Got seven seconds of this. You can do the same at home. Seven seconds with one hand, seven with the other. Or we can go a little bit wider. So this is our lateral movement, left to right or east to west. And now let's go to our north-south or front and back movement. About seven or so seconds and we'll change hands again. Yep, that's good. Change. That's it. Good. You see, Lucas is keeping the ball low again for control. It's really going to help you. You're struggling with this. 
the lower you keep it, the quicker the ball returns. Excellent. Well, Lucas, let's go left, right. And front back. Left, right, front back. You got it. We're combining. For 10 seconds. And then we'll change hands. Nine. Eight. Seven. Front. So north, south, east, west. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Change. Other hand. Let's go. Ten. Nine. So east, west, north, south. East, west, north, south. There you go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pound and cross. Just one pound and cross. The punch. Punch cross. Punch and cross. Just one. Make it hard. Pretty firm. Eight seconds at least. Seven. Six. Stop. Seven, here you go. Five, count across. Four, three, two, one. And now we're going to work a V dribble into a crossover. So the V dribble is an east west drill. East west, and then cross. Bounce it. East west, cross. So you're going to bounce each time to separate the move. East west, cross, bounce. East west, cross, bounce. Here we go, Lewis. Ten of these. Bounce. East west. Let's go. So east west. Cross. Bounce. East west. Cross. Bounce. East west. Cross. Bounce. So it's a V dribble crossover and then a crossover. Go. Fifteen seconds. Go. V dribble crossover. Good. Bounce. V dribble. Crossover. Good. V dribble. Cross. V dribble. Cross. Good. Like with everything we're doing, once you get in a rhythm, it becomes a lot easier. Except when some coach is talking to you the whole time. <laughs> That's a bit more challenging. Easier for you at home. We're nine. Let's go with eight, seven, six, and five, four, and three, two, one, done. All right, now we're going to go step through. Crossover, crossover. So take up the dribbles, step through the legs, cross. Balance, through, cross. So we're making it a circle with the ball, through the legs, three of the crossover. Get a feel for the basket. And again, you can speed it up the more comfortable you can become with that. We've got 10 seconds to do it. Let's see the gap. Nine, eight, seven, excellent, six, five. Four, three, two, one. You know what you got to do now? Yeah, that's it. You got it. Left hand, so right foot step. So left hand. Next round. Yeah, not so. Yeah, so you, you did um, you did right hand. Yeah, that's it. Easy. You got it. Right hand, three legs. Right. right, fifteen seconds. Here we go. So through, step and forward. Actually, you got, Lucas, did you do this one? Did you do this one? Did you do this one? Did you go right hand through? Is that your first one you did? You went this right. So now you're going to go the opposite. You're going to go right hand through. Close. Right hand through. Step to the right. You're good. Excellent. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Come on. Behind backs. Put our feet together and we'll make sure we bounce the ball directly under our butt. Got the hands ready to catch it. And so Luke's getting he's lifting his hips a little bit. Just making sure that he can catch the ball cleanly in his hands. We're at 10 seconds of this. Take your time, you're good. Keep it like that, sit nine. Okay, you see he's got a good knee then, keeping the ball nice and low. This space to dribble the basketball directly under his butt, one knee to the other. And now let's move into the one dribble from behind the back. So pound behind, pound behind. Now you'll see he's really twisting his hips here, which is fine. You want to twist and be able to get the other hand in position. Eight seconds of this, pound and behind. Seven, 
great job here. Six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Let's go two lots combinations now. Let's go a regular crossover and then through the legs. So cross. And you change it each time. Yep, so we're going to go. Cross through. Cross through. Because every time you change it. Cross through. Yep, so cross through. Regular cross through. And we'll just speed it up now. Keep your knees back because you're standing up all awesome and get low. So if we could be here. Come to a quick coach, slow in. Oh, so quick. So push yourself. What I'm doing. Making mistakes with the cross through. There you go. We got cross through quick. Cross through. We did a few notes, go cross through. Go cross through quick. Quick. Okay, cross through. <laughs> Let's go. So that's how you want to work. You want to work hard enough to push yourself to make errors. All right, let's go four seconds on this. For three, for two, one. Now through the legs behind the back. Through behind. Change hands. Yeah, through behind. Make sure you change hands again. So every time you do it, pick it up, stop, and reset. So through behind. So we're going to go. And, uh, Little step back through, behind. Pick it up. Reset again. Other hand. Through behind. Yeah. Two cracks all the time. Through behind. Through behind. Through behind. Through behind. Yeah. Might be through then. There you go. <laughs> Reset it. Yeah. Ten. Three, nine. Drink at home, we're going to set up. Hopefully, you've got your objects be they cones, drink bottles, anything all you've got. I want you to set up so you're looking at the bottom of a V. I've got a cone here, and my V goes out like that. So, we're going to work on dribbling to the top of the V, retreat, come back to start, go to the other side. So, all these moves now are going to involve a retreat dribble. So being able to retreat from the defender, create a bit of space and maintain balance. So you'll take maybe one dribble, recognize that there's a defender there, so you can turn slide on. You'll show you the opposite hand is a bar on to protect. You'll approach, once you approach, this front foot will then push off and you'll go back to your starting position. So and if you want to try and keep the ball low, close to our body, really go to the So all we're going to do is move from one time to I see you can get there in two dribbles, legs. One, two, push. So here's our little demonstration of what we're doing. So Lucas, you've got ten in total. I hope you've got six. One. Okay, here we go. Attack and retreat. Always come back to the home and then attack again. Work on a retreat drill. You make sure you push on that front leg. Push on to the left. Big set, big steps. That's about it. Push off your right back. Push, big step back. Step back to your left. So the challenge is can you get there in two dribbles? That's a better cut. One, two, go. On. One, two, good. That's it. Get the ball on. Get it close to your body. Manipulate the ball so it stays close to your body. Move, move, move. Using the other hand as a bar arm. And here's the defender. On here. Use that bar arm. We protect that bar. Here I go. Nice yeah, good. Keep working, keep working. This is good. Once you've done 10, let me know. I hope you can. It's only three, right? Nothing. Three out of seven, 
10. Good. So let's add a move now. So it's so you're going to take a dribble and then all of a sudden make a move and change direction and go the opposite tone. So it's on the intercept. So if I was going to this right tone here, the first move is a crossover. So I'm going to take my dribble down and across, so then with this tone, I drag it back, reset. Now I'm going to this tone again, not I cross, drag back with my two dribbles. I'm going again. I'm going to this tone. No, there's my cross. Drag back. So we're really trying to be deceptive on that crossover. We got ten. Here we go. Good, honey. You got six. Protect the ball. The other hand loops from the side on dribble. Right hand dribble. Protect the ball left. But there you go. Good. Now to retreat under control. Step backwards. Create some more space. Take one dribble, make a great crossover. All well, those things are going to help you. When you're back in the competition starts, which will be very soon, next month. Hey, okay, here we go. How many goals this? All right. Come on, let's go. Four to go. Same with you. go. That's gotta be 10 right now. Alright. Well let's have let's go. Instead of regular cross, let's go through the leg. Take a dribble, split, boom, where you go. Step and step. Then come back again, reset, break that time, split, chase, throw the ball out, come back. So be as long as you can. You want to chase that ball. You want to push it back quicker. We've got another 10 seconds of this and we'll move on to the next one. As you guess, the next one will be behind the back. Here we go. That's remember. Shape up as if you're going to a particular time, then it's across and change direction. Imagine there's a defender in front of you, suddenly you cross and change direction and leave them. Then you attack the next defender and you retreat. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go behind the back. 12 seconds behind the back, same thing there. Behind, change, attack. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And we cannot forget our old friend the spin move. So we're going to attack the cone or the defender's focus. Take our step. Now look over our opposite shoulder. You notice this toe is now going to pivot. So I'm setting up the spin move by here. Look over my shoulder. Attack, push, drag back. Same thing. I'm here, take my dribble. I step and turn. It's going to help me. Snap my head, body follows, change hands. Now, the footwork is a massive drop step. So, from here, this toe is going to go there. So, I'm covering a lot of distance. I'm pointing. What I'm not doing is stepping up and then going down. I'm trying to maintain my foot width just to there. Now, I take what? Now I'm back in the dreams. I'm going to try and maintain our width, our height, and make sure we look before we do the spin move. Look. No, we're just a regular spin. Yep. So that we'll get you on the next one. We'll go to the next one. Uh, the oh. spin move here. Spin. And I want you to make sure your toe, actually, the other toe is you step the face of that toe. So if you step back with your left foot, Go left foot, yo, you're right, rather, right, yeah, face the tone. Let's keep this for a sec. So I'm trying to go this side. Two more, now turn. Now this toe is going to point at that. At a, that's exactly what I'm going. Bang. I want to point there, so now I can just go straight. All that stuff built. So I'm here. I turn, bang, bang. Straight there, that's what I want to do. 
to get your touch point. So you can add all this detail into the mood to make it more effective and make yourself accountable to the space you've got. Here we go. And the direction you want to be in. Point your toe, look at your toe. Glutes doing a one hand spin move. You can do that if you're good at that. But if you want, you can change. Make sure you lift your, lift your heel and pivot on your toes. Pivot on your toes. No, nah, freeze. Go back. No. Nah. When I say freeze, I'll get to the freeze. So let's break this down because it's a tough one. Freeze. Good. Now, lift the heel of. No, nah, keep it there. Good. Just lift the heel of your left toe. Lift the heel. Thank you. Good. All right. Point. Better. Bigger step, bigger step. And then we dream. Excellent. Good. So try that again. Remember the pivot's always on the toe. And, and because we prepare by corner turning, it's just the top of the pivot. And away we go. We can really cover a lot of ground on that move. That's good, man. Let's go 15 seconds of this. Go slow. You got it. Make sure you point your toe where you go. So you can have a look at your feet, you can have a look at the cone, you can use as much as you want for visual cue, see where you're going, until you work it out. And with everything we're doing, we're just going to go slow, as you feel more comfortable, at speed. Good. A couple more. Good, now try the other side. You've done this five try that side. One foot forward, lift the heel, step back, back, step back with your left. Yep, not left side. Go slow. Take the heel off there, step with your right and freeze. Breathe. Good. Now lift the heel of your right toe. No, no, no. You just give it on your heel. Lift your heel. That's it. Better. Excellent. Good. And it's left handed. Well, excellent. Well done. Lift the heel. That's better. Perfect. If you're like Lucas, you're already starting to make improvements and you're going to get better at your game because he listens really well, he works it out, he makes adjustments, but he gets it done. Make sure you pivot off that toe. Heel. Now, what part you, let me ask you, what part of your foot do you pivot off? My turn. You sure? Okay, watch yourself pivot. Go. Watch your foot, watch yourself pivot. No, no, pivot. Watch, watch your right foot as you pivot. Watch your right foot. Watch, 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 watch. Watch your right Better. Excellent. Now that's a good off the Well done. And you caught a turn as preparation. Well done. Here we go. Go on one more. Excellent. Now let's take a actually good. I want to take a little big step. We got the left foot. Step with attack. Beautiful. Awesome. That's enough. Let's get to the fakes now. So the fakes we're gonna hesitate a little bit. So in the last one, we caught a turn. And we stepped. Now we're going to step. We can quarter turn a bit, right? Look, but continue on. So the ball has to fight or hang for a split second against the defender. And the reason you wouldn't now do the spin move, you do this straight away to jump across. We jump across, I can continue. So what I'm looking to do is look over his shoulder and go. So here's our fake spin. So yeah, just take one double point. And then fake spin, I reckon, take two dribbles the next one. Fake, two dribbles, retreat, drag back, left hand, same thing. Feel it, yeah, that's so. Good. We're going to have a turn drip. One more step. Half minute ago, that. Do it. Left hand, here we go. Wait, touch, do it. Lay it. All right. Turn drip, which is our in out drip. So, in out, slide to the side, and then we're going to throw it down. Cross over. And break it back. So a turn dribble is fake cross on here, push in. Now I flick out as I do this on the slide to create a little bit more space. The defender jumps at me, so now I throw the ball across, cross step. I'm going to do this again. So go also, there's a lot of, a lot of moves here. 
in this breakdown. So let's do the cross. So we're at front here. A fake cross over here now. Slide. Slide down. Excellent. And then drag it back. So let's start this. Start on one side until you get the, uh, the hang. Let's play this side. So here we go. In out dribble. Slide. Throw it down. Left hand dribble. Right foot. And make sure you slide. Remember, we're, we're doing a retreat on that. This little side here. So in out. Slide. Throw it. That's good. So we'll start on this left side. Here you go. I need a couple of speed up. In out. Throw it. And then control. Four more. Four more. Four switch. Turn. Right. There you go. Good. 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 Then we'll go to the other side. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. If you can, let us go last place you can. As you turn and slide to the side, you're going to throw the ball down there. Now, see if you can, at the same time, step with that right foot. Even quicker. As you cross it, wipe the big step. Big right foot step across your leg as you make the ball go right to that. Other side now. Same thing as over here. In here, slide. Now I cross the ball there. This foot's going to go. Cross. Now I'm here. Now I'm back. Here we go. Ready? Slide. Let's get out Let's stand in out, slide to slide. Let's start with the side. Here we go. Yep. In out, slide to left, throw across. Good. Now speed up. Two more. In out. Last one. In out, slide, throw. Good. Combinations in out. Okay, so let's go through and cross now. Go between the legs and then cross over and then attack. So between. So regular through, so through. So I'm going to go, I'm here now. Through, cross, attack. Let's do the move count. Through, through, cross, attack. Good. Four of them. Through, cross. Through, cross, attack. Good. I try to be pause on when you make that uh, count move. So you make me you cross through. I'm here. Oh, I'm going to go that way. Then it's back again. So you wouldn't force that. First move didn't make. Just get you in the combat. Keep your feet still after the three. And just have to pay for the chips. Feet. Next slide. Pretty good. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Here you go. Three cross. Three cross. Start 
to the left hand, push to the right, left hand. You come back, back to the left, now attack. Hit, hit more than less. Behind, left hand dribble. Keep the left hand dribble. That's all. Right. We go through to your left. Left hand. Some left hand dribble. Yes, drag it back. Better. There's correction already. Hold on. Let's go. Okay. Good. Let's go. Other time, guys. Now that you've got that one. Perfect. Come on, Joe, you're all back to your right. And, uh, right. Quick, 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 we're going to work on shooting here. So, we've got four kinds we're going to put a fourth in and make four spots. We might go a few minutes over three because we need to start a bit late, so we'll try and get a good good hour in or close to it as much as we can. I don't want to keep you too late, but we'll try and get some time in here, so I reckon we'll go over here. Just use the space we've got. So the first series is going to be uh, this Toss and catch with, uh, with a bit of spin. So, this one here, straight into your shot. Go get it, move back over the next spot. And you've got to make two, sorry, two shots from each cone before you move to the next. So, if I made that shot, I come back here again, then I'll take my next shot. So, working on forward technique, making sure that as we shoot, knees are bent, shoulders slide the other toes. This is bent. Bring the ball straight up. Start to bring the ball up to shot lift. Now we engage the rest of the body and legs. Get our toes off the ground, we might fly through. Think it's point down, the ball goes through the net. Shooting things have worked on the last few weeks just like that. All right, let's go. You gotta make two make spots. I'll spot same from there. See so if you can beat Lucas. Let's go, come on, quick, Luke. We're on zero. Let's go. Two from each spot. Let's go. Let's go. There's one, quick. Quick up, you got it. Let's go. Well, say again, you want it, be consistent. Good man, got another spot. Any spot you want. Excellent. Rotation of the ball there, good spin. Let's bring this point down. Good. Guy hands off the ball as you release some, is anyone? Everything we're doing is close to the ring. Try and be consistent with our form. Nice. Well, we've got one more over here. That's better. Good. Done. And there's our eight shots. Well done. All right. Same position, but now we're going to work on uh, a dribble move. So it might be crossover and then shoot. It's going to make you move first before we shoot. Any move you want. So distance is the same, but the key is, okay. after you make your move, you've got to get the ball quickly into your shot pocket, into your hand, so you can't be doing this, taking too long. Quick move and then quickly get the ball, lift and shoot. So we're working on gathering the ball and getting it to our shot pocket quickly. Here you go. Straight up. Be quick. Be quick, be quick with your feet if you can. Right. See if you can turn out one of your steps, Lucas. Okay. Better. Make a move. Cross. Sit, 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 just cross. Watch my feet, Lucas. I'll make my point. Bang. Step. All right. Well done. Eliminate the step then quicker. Do you want to come here? Okay. Yeah. Going to be quicker. Come on, to be quicker. Trying to beat people at home here. That's good. Good feed. Love that. Good shot. Follow through. Good rotation. Let's go. Move. Straight up. 
good. There you go. Quick. That's eight? Yeah. Awesome. All right, we're going to work on jabs now. So it's jab and shoot. So if you're righty, right foot, just like this. So you're going to jab. Now protect the ball when you jab. Why aren't you doing this with the ball? Because if the defender's where you're jabbing, they're probably going to steal that. So the ball stays within my frame, but I turn my hips. So I don't do this. But I put the ball just in here. I'll show my elbow. There's my jab, and then as soon as my foot hits the ground, I should be ready to lift and shoot. So my full work is on here. As soon as it replaces back, into the shot. Straight away. How quick can you be? Jab and shoot. Also, think you lose with it. Here's what I want. Can you stay low on the jab? So here you go, watch. I'll lower the jab, and I'll lower the replacement, so my knees will stay in the same position from when I started, to here. And my knees still stay in the same position. Now they're going to stand the balls here. Now they're going to start to engage. How's that? So it's going to be a really effective good shoulder. Move. Good. Eight shots. Here you go. Try and beat us. Jab, replace, shoot. And you want to speed the jab up as well as you get into this. It's got to be a realistic jab. You want to be able to maintain the bend in your knees so you can use that in the shot. Jab shoot, stop quick. Good. Just start with four minutes left, everyone. Here we go. So we. Jeff, quick. Yep, training. Nice. Jeff, here you go. Keep your balance. Good. I'm going to try this again. Jeff, shut up. That's eight. Awesome. All right, just so we get a bit more room, um, let's go to two cones now. So we might you know, just start one about here. Let's go as wide as we can. Because now you're going to work on a jab. Gonna work on a so the jabs here, shot fake, and then it's one dribble, jump shot. So you notice through all of that, again we're staying low in stance. So just on the jab, the shot fake. Ball comes to the eyes. I still stay knees are bent. The boss comes down here. Jab, bam, shot fake. Now when I go, that's my pivot foot. So I'm throwing the ball in front of my right foot. Not bounce. It's straight into my shot. So we've got to make six shots. We'll make six shots straight from about here. I'll make six from about there. Start on this one. So total's 12. This is our last shooting segment. Now you notice we're a bit further away, so we've got to make sure we use a bit more legs, a bit lower in our stance, lift up through our toes. All right, let me know you've got six. There's one. Okay, from now. Jab, fake, one bounce track. Take it long with the shot, you're getting up a little early. And try and keep your feet wide as your hips when you shoot. Let's go. Jab, fake. And I want you to stay down on the fake with you're building up a little bit. So stay wide and low on the jab, wide and low on the fake. It's alright. No, just move the ball. So the fake is just moving your ball, keeping your hips and your shoulders exactly in the same position as you did the jab. We'll do a quick four. So let's, break, let's fix this. So this you do is good. When you do this, that's what you do. You're lifting up now. So now you've got to come up and then come down again. So once you're jabbing, shot fake. How's that? So you keep the string in your leg. Now, straight into that move, boom, this is my attack. Part two, if you can, with your shooting. So when you take your shot, you bring that foot in a little bit, 
and you lose a little bit of balance. Maybe a bit of power. If you can, try and keep your feet as wide as your hips. Put a little bit of your balance. Just see if you can quite well Here we go. So when you're done six, so carry through your score. When you're done six on that count, we'll go the other one. Stay in the same position for your jab, your shot fake. Same position on the first dribble. Every time we extend our knees, we can get in the shot. Half the ball to the shoulder wall. That will take you to the front one. Point in the middle. Just take it. You take the right step, now the ball. There you go. Good. Can you be off the next one? Six. Find another two. Here we go. You do it. Thanks, Lucas. Hey, how did we work out? Yeah. That's a good workout, man. Awesome. Keep working on your game. Uh, apologies for uh, having a bit of technical trouble. Um, we're good. This has been our last session. Hope you've had a chance to look at uh, the videos we put online and maybe had a workout practiced because our comps start next month. So looking forward to seeing everyone at the brick pit and playing again. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you on the course. <laughs>